Hi guys, welcome to Chosen Explosions End Time Prophetic Revelations. My name is Evelyn Brooks. I received a word from the Lord and I would like to share that word with you. The title of it is A Time of Great Justice is Coming. And I'm just going to go ahead and read it and then I have a few scriptures that I'd like to share with you as well. It says, My beloved, not one little thing goes by without my knowledge. I see every good deed and I see every foul work. Do not think that evil will go unpunished. I see every drop of innocent blood shed. I see every tear that falls from the eyes of the innocent. innocent. Vengeance is mine. I will surely repay every unrepentant evil deed. I will avenge. avenge. They will pay for the innocent blood they shed. They think no one sees their evil deeds. They think no one cares. I see, I know, and I care. I hear the cries of the oppressed. The deeds of the evil will come back upon their own heads. I am exposing their wicked hearts and deeds. I am laying all bare for all to see. But vengeance is mine, I will repay. A time of great justice is coming. Freedom, freedom, freedom is coming to those in captivity. Great joy is coming to the oppressed. Up will be down, and down will be up. In will be out, and out will be in. Who can do such a thing? Only I can make all things right. Only I can punish evil. Only I can bring justice. Rejoice, my little ones. Your deliverance is near. I come to bring justice. I come to bring deliverance. Declare it, my little ones, if you only knew the power in your mouth. Speak it. Declare it. Let freedom come to the captives. Let the oppressed be made free. Let the sad be filled with joy. Let those who are weak be strong. Let the lame walk. Let the dead live again. Speak, my children. Declare my kingdom come. My will be done on earth. Father, we just thank you. Lord, that you're a God who sees all, you you know all. Lord, you care. And Lord, those that think that they're getting by with something, Lord, we know that, that they are not. Lord, we know that you love mercy. And we know that you love justice. And Lord, we know that you love freedom. Lord, you are a God of freedom. And Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for freedom. Father, we thank you right now, Lord. Father, I speak it and I declare it, Lord. Freedom, freedom, freedom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you, that you have created us, Lord God, to be one with you. That you have created us, God, to walk in alignment, in accordance to your purposes and your plans in the earth. And that you use us, God, to bring forth your kingdom in the earth with our mouth and with our actions, with our deeds. Lord, help us, God, to be in alignment with you, body, soul, and spirit. Help us, Lord, to know your heart, to know your mind, and to have faith, Lord, to speak forth your will in the earth. But, Lord, we thank you nevertheless that, Lord, that a great time of freedom is coming. Lord, there are so many that are oppressed, that are pressed down. But right now we speak freedom. We declare freedom over them in accordance to your words, to your heart. And we thank you for freedom. We thank you for justice. We thank you for mercy. And we thank you for your great love. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God loves us so much. And uh, there's so much wickedness. You know, I believe that this word is, uh, is speaking about people, uh, especially in, the, in the, the first part of it. But it's also speaking to the forces of darkness is speaking about uh, demonic powers is speaking about the the oppression of uh, 
uh, the demons that the darkness brings to people, even to God's people. There's so many people that are that are bound by so many different things. But you know, I really believe I really believe that the Lord is speaking here of a of a that that the great revival, the great outpouring of the Spirit of God, where everything is going to be it's going to be flip flopped, it's going to be changed, and many are going to be set free. But it, it's here and it's coming. It's here and it's growing. And it's growing through our revelation of who we are in, in Christ. To speak forth um, the words of God. To speak forth God's heart. Knowing that, that there is power in our mouth. That, uh, that we can speak things into being as long, as long as we're speaking in faith. And we're speaking the heart and the mind of God. That that power is in our mouth. But as a greater revelation comes to God's people and as we begin to walk, as we begin to see and understand who we are, the power that we have, that God's that it's us, that God uses us. It's, it's God that does it, it's not us. But uh, that we release through our mouth, through our tongue and by our faith, the power of God goes forth when we step out and we speak in faith, when we speak the words of God. And listen, it is God's heart. Freedom is God's heart. God doesn't want anybody to be bound up in fear and anxiety and uh, feelings of rejection or uh, drugs and alcohol, uh, sexual perversion. All of these things, all of these things are chains that brings torment to people. And uh, freedom is here. It's always been here. It's coming greater. It's coming greater through revelation and through the outpouring of God's Spirit. But he wants us to be one with him and not to uh, to have such little faith and such little understanding. This is, a, the Lord has told me that this is a time, well, we know it. This is a great time of revelation, of understanding, of just understanding the principles of God. And Satan has so many tricks to try to put chains on people in different ways. Religious change, chains, and just chains of all kinds of things that will keep the body of Christ, you know, as we begin to break free from some chains, the devil tries to put other chains. But we have to have the mind and the heart of God, and we have to let the Word of God uh, and the Holy Spirit working together as one to uh, bring uh, enlightenment, to help us to understand, and this is one thing that we must understand, that, the, that there is power in our mouth, so we need to be careful uh, what we say, and we need to purposefully say things that br that uh, brings forth the kingdom of God into our life, that brings freedom into our life and into other people's life as well. I want to read just a few scriptures. Micah 2.1 says, Woe to those who plot wickedness and prepare evil on their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it, bringing, uh, because it is in the power of of their hands. God gave us a free will. Um, you know, a lot of people, sometimes people will think that, you know, that God, God did it, you know, when people do, do evil, but no guys, God gave us a free will and it is in the power of evil people to do evil things. Uh, but, but just because God gives them the power, uh, that freedom of, uh, the, the free will to do evil doesn't mean that they're not going to be punished. They are, they are going to be punished. Isaiah 51, 4 through 5 says, Pay attention to me, my people. Listen to me, my nation, for instruction will go out from me, and my justice will become a light for the nations. I will quickly bring my deliverance near. My salvation is on the way. His arm will bring justice to the nations. The coastlines will hope for him, and they will wait for his arm. Amen. Amen. A time, a time of greater freedom. It's always been there. It's always the hair. But it's grow. like I said earlier, it's growing more and more. And uh, a time of great freedom and great deliverance is coming. And that's going to come in the outpouring of God's Spirit upon His people. It's going to bring uh, freedom. It's going to bring transformation. It's going to bring the kingdom of God in a more powerful and awesome way upon the earth. Amen. Amen. And those evil forces will be punished. It will be punished. 
you know, the timing on all this is in God's hands. We know that, but it's here now, and it's growing now, and revelation is now. Amen. Proverbs 18, 20 through 21 says, A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth. He, sh he shall be satisfied with the product of his lips. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it shall eat the fruit of it. Guys, we're loving it when we speak it. If we're speaking evil, then we're loving evil, and we're going to eat that fruit. Our words are going to produce fruit, and we're going to eat that fruit. God's, God's love and man's love is two different things. The whole idea of it is two different things. If, we're, if love is, is not just a feeling, it's an action, and that's how God sees it. If we're speaking evil, then uh, we're doing evil actions, and that is the love of evil. And I know we don't see it that way, but God does. So we need to learn how to see things through God's eyes. But if we speak that forth, if we speak evil, then we're, it's going to produce fruit. It's going to produce evil fruit, and we'll eat the fruit of it. And uh, if we speak um, good, if we speak righteousness, if we speak truth, then it's going to produce good fruit. And we're, we'll be able to eat the fruit of that. We'll be able to eat the good fruit instead of the evil fruit. But we do need to understand that, that our mouth has power. So we, we have to speak forth the mind and the heart of God. Amen. And that's, that's what God wants us to do. And as we're doing that, we're, we're setting ourselves free. And we're setting others free. And we're bringing forth the kingdom of God. Well, guys, uh, that's all I have for right now. Uh, join us uh, Friday for Friday Night Live, if you can, um, for a time of worship and the Word and a time of fellowship where we pray for anyone who needs prayer and we answer questions. And we'd love to have you join us there live, but if you cannot, it's on our channel. And then also, we have a daily devotional at 6.30 a.m. Right now, Christopher is doing that. Uh, he's going through the book of Proverbs, so if you can catch that, I'm sure it'll be a blessing to you. Uh, well, that's all I have right now. God bless you guys. We love you, and we're praying for you. Bye-bye.